Joe Rogan shocked everyone on his latest episode with Dr. Rhonda Patrick and the Joe Rogan podcast. For those who don't know, Dr. Rhonda Patrick is a cell biologist and co-founder of Found My Fitness. She has a PhD in biomedical science and has done extensive research on aging, cancer, and nutrition. So we can say she actually knows what she's talking about. But also Joe Rogan shared his sauna routine, which is pure genius. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to use sauna therapy to boost your cardiovascular health, accelerate recovery, and potentially add years to your life. Before we dive in, Dr. Patrick mentioned something crucial about heat shock proteins that most people completely misunderstand. She explains how your body actually adapts the more you expose it to heat stress, and this changes everything about optimal sauna frequency. But first, let's see Joe's daily approach. I usually use it at home, but sometimes I use it here when I, uh, like right after workouts. Like if I work out, I try to get a workout here before, you know, like uh, before I do podcasts, and I'll time it so that I have an extra hour so I can get in the sauna. That's awesome. Yeah. This is a brilliant strategy. Joe's timing his sauna use around his workouts and podcasts. Notice he's not just randomly using it. He's being strategic about recovery really time. Well, I would wonder, and I know there's there's supposedly some sort of Harvard study that's ongoing right now measuring um, all sorts of markers in people that have done hot yoga and whether or not it mimics heat shock proteins that are created in the sauna. Because the thing is, like, you are getting this incredible cardiovascular exercise because your heart's beating like crazy. And, you know, you're not doing cardio per se, but your heart rate goes gets jacked because of the heat and the stress. Totally. This is super interesting. Joe Rogan just connected the dots between heart rate elevation and heat shock protein creation. Your elevated heart rate in the sauna isn't discomfort. It's your body adapting and creating protective proteins. This is where the magic happens. That Harvard study he mentioned is measuring whether hot yoga creates the same beneficial proteins as sauna use without all the hard work. These heat shock proteins are literally your body's resilience mechanism. But here's what most people get wrong about who should be using saunas. Dr. Patrick is about to reveal something about sedentary people in saunas that completely changes who can benefit from this therapy. And the statistics she shares, they're going to blow your mind. This people that are not, people that are sedentary, and people that are sedentary for whatever reason, maybe they're sedentary because they're disabled, or maybe they're sedentary because they've had a lifetime of being sedentary, and it is they it is just hard to get them motivated to go exercise. Like, the sauna to me is like, that's so important because it's giving these people a potential cardiovascular workout. No, it is. That's been shown. It's giving them a cardiovascular workout without having to force them to go for a run or go on, get on a This is one of the most important benefits of the sauna. You're actually exercising your heart without actually doing the cardio of going for a run or swimming. So people that have reduced mobility or any injury or that just want to improve their heart health, this is super important. Studies show 40% lower all-cause mortality, 50% lower cardiovascular mortality. We're talking about genuine health transformation for people who can't do traditional exercise. Those statistics they're referencing come from massive Finnish population studies following over 2,300 middle-aged men for decades. The researchers found that men who used saunas four to seven times per week had a 40% reduction in all-cause mortality and 50% reduction in cardiovascular disease deaths compared to those who use saunas only once per week. What makes this even more powerful is that these benefits were independent of physical activity levels meaning even sedentary individuals saw dramatic health improvements. Sauna to me is, it, 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 there's so many benefits, but one of the big ones is that muscles feel better. They feel looser. They, they, they're not as sore. Like when I have hard workouts and I get in the sauna afterwards, I feel like my recovery is more rapid. Interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, I, because I don't do a lot of resistance training, shame on me. <laughs> I, I don't I don't have that same perspective, but it, there there have been studies at least where localized um, heat on people that had a limb immobilized. I, I don't remember what limb it was, but after a week, um, people that had the heat treatment, local heat treatment, had almost forty percent less muscle atrophy. And in animals, forty percent less muscle atrophy. Dr. Patrick is describing how heat treatment prevents muscle waste during immobilization. This isn't just about feeling good. This is about maintaining muscle mass during injury or inactivity. The study she's referencing was groundbreaking. Researchers immobilized limbs in healthy
healthy participants and applied localized heat treatment to one group while leaving the control group without heat therapy. After just one week of immobilization, the group receiving heat treatment showed 37% less muscle atrophy compared to the control group. The mechanism? Heat shock proteins activated by the thermal stress actually protected muscle fibers from breakdown. This research has massive implications for injury recovery, bed rest situations, and aging-related muscle loss. Now, let's connect all these insights. Dr. Patrick revealed three game-changing insights. First, heat shock proteins increase faster as you adapt, meaning your sauna protocol should evolve with your experience level. Second, the cardiovascular benefits are measurable and significant. 40% reduction in all-cause mortality isn't just a number, it's life-changing. Third, adaptation is everything. There's no universal protocol. Joe uses it daily but adjusts based on his schedule. Dr. Patrick emphasizes gradual progression. The Harvard study participants likely all found different optimal frequencies. The key is adapting the protocol to you, not forcing yourself into someone else's routine. After hearing Dr. Patrick break down the science and seeing Joe's personalized approach, it's clear your sauna journey should be as unique as you are. And it's also important to have clear guidance when you're looking to buy a sauna. That's why we created a quiz at Peak Saunas that considers your budget, preferences, and space constraints to recommend your perfect sauna solution. Whether you're using it for post-workout recovery like Joe, starting a wellness journey like Dr. Patrick's mom, or preventing muscle atrophy during your injury recovery, there's a sauna designed for you. And there's also a $200 free discount if you complete it. Click the link, take the quiz, and discover your perfect sauna. Subscribe for more from a sauna industry insider's perspective. And remember, don't adapt to the protocol, adapt the protocol to you.